Today, we are going to run on how to create notification channels for Android 8.0. So let's create a new Java class and this Java class we're going to create a notification helper that is going to contain our, not our notification channel. Let's extend the notification wrapper and from there we can create a notification with a super context. Then we need to check if the build version is greater than is greater or equals to 8.0 then we can create a channel. Let's create the method of creating a channel. And it's from this that we can create the first thing that we need to create is the channel name. And we can call just call it uh, main notifications. That's the name of the channel. Then we can also create channel ID or, or channel description. Sorry, let's first create channel description. And you can give a channel description a name. All right. So we also need to create a channel ID so that we have our channel ID. Sorry. You can call it channel ID, and then you can just give it a bit right name. And now we have our private method create channel. Now we can just create our notification channel. We can say it goes to new notification channel, and we can pass the ID that we created. Then we pass the name of the channel, and again we can pass the 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 notification priority behavior. That is notification manager dot importance default. All right, so. Then you can see we have an error that says requires Android 8.0. So and we just need to add requires 8.0. But from the constructor we had already checked that. So let's just go ahead and just require, just add that. Then you can say notification channel. Those are description and that is channel description. You can also say notification channel. That said enable vibration rule. Those said enable right rule. And also notification channel dot you know dot control badge. All right. Uh, we also need to check to check the visibility. So I'm going to explain this as we run the program. All right. Then we are going to say notification channel. They'll set right color. Then we have uh, get resources. Dot get color. All dot color. Dot color primary. Oh, let's use the color license. Sorry. You can see we've already created our notification channel and our notification channel is created in the constructor. So we also need to get the notification manager and we have it there. Then we need to create a method that is going to get the notification manager. And our notification manager we have a type error. Let's just correct that for mistakes. We can say if notification manager, this is where I got this is where I made an error. We are supposed to say if notification manager is equals to now, not not equals to now. So you should change this to if notification channel is equal to now, then initialize your notification channel. Let's now initialize our context so that we can be able to use the context everywhere in the whole class. So we can call it our context base, then you can say this dot base is equal to base is equal to the context and that's the name of the context again we need to say notification manager is equal to base dot get system service and our system service should be context dot notification service all right we need to cast that into a notification manager so that we get rid of that error then you can return notification manager don't forget to say if notification manager is equal to now then we need our method to be of type notification manager so that then we need to create a notification channel from our notification manager just just saying get notification manager dot create notification channel then we can pass our notification channel object there now let's create a notification class that is going to notify our users so we are just going to create a dummy notification and let's say call our method just notify public will notify and you can see string messages to title and from there we can just say uh, you know notification you know compact sorry notification compact or builder builder equals to new notification compact or builder but we need to pass two things we need to pass the constructor and we also need to pass the the channel name all right the channel id sorry it should be channel ID. then you can say builder does set content title sorry so let's first of all create the uri of our ringtone you can say uri notification ringtone is equals to you know to ringtone manager dot get default uri and this is going to be ringtone manager dot not dot type notification then you can say builder does say title content title you can pass the title from our 
method argument then you can say builder dot set you know you know dot set contact text or all right dot contact the text message all right then we say builder dot set style then we have our style URI then you can also say builder dot set style then we're going to say new you know big text big big style big text style and you can say big text and our big text should be message we have nothing else apart from notifying the user by get notification manager dot notify or notification id and then you can say builder dot build and that's all we have created our notification uh, method that is going to notify then you can see we have already initialized our not our notification channel in the context so that means as soon as we call the class the notification method will be called let's go again to the main activity and create our notification helper right then we need to create a button that is going to enable us you know when we click it we notify the users so we're just going to give it a background of color you know color isn't something like that then we need to give it you know text color of color white then we also needed to give it a text and text should be you know notify via notification channel all right then we need to say center in parent row. Then we need to say id equals notification to notify btn. From there, we can initialize that in our main activity. Yeah. Well, we need to initialize our button in our main activity. So, what we are going to do, we're just going to say button notify btn equals to you know, five view by id. No need to cast in the build. Uh, Alright, so we can say notify btn dot set on click listener, new view dot on click listener, and then we need to call our notification helper and then we notify notification message and title. So if you go back to our method or to our class, you can see this is a method that we've just called again, and you can see our notification is created in the constructor. Now we can run our program and see how it runs so guys we ran the program and this is the outcome so as you can see so we click the no we click the notification button and you can see we have a notification one thing we must always set a small icon for the notification and as you can see this is our notification and you can see title notification message as we had said again when we click the settings of we shall be taken to a notification setting and you can just come here to more settings and you can see that now we have main notification it has sound all right and this is our main notification channel all right so that's the uh, main notification channel from our tutorial and that's how to create a notification channel in android.0 thank you for watching goodbye